Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? We are Christmas Eve. This is Christmas Eve. It is so exciting for so many who are getting ready. There are so many people who are still in the stores, just cramming to get their last presents and gifts. The holidays brings the best in us and sometimes not so much the best in us. It all depends where you are and how you react to things. So just two days ago, we were driving and my mom and I, uh, she said, I don't want to go to the gallery. I don't want to go anywhere because it is so hectic and there is the lines and it's so busy. And I said, well, we'll be one of them will be a part of all this. So there are so many of us who choose not to go to the malls because of the crowd and everything. And there are the ones who like me say, we are part of the cloud and let's be one of them. And it all depends, right? So how do you choose to spend your last minute have you done all your shoppings yet? Um, let's, let's see. Looks like I am not connected, but no matter what it is, I will continue because we're not stopping for anything in life anymore. This is Lisa. Welcome to this moment of embracing, accepting, and appreciating. Hi, Sarah John. It's so good to have you here. What are your plans for Christmas Eve? I hope you are going to be with the family and that you are surrounded with your loved ones. It's not so much what uh, the items and the gifts that we have under the Christmas tree that truly matters, but who's around it? Who are we surrounded with? That's what, to me, Christmas is all about. It's not so much about the Christmas tree, but how we trim the tree. Who's with us when we trim the tree? I remember growing up um, when I was a little kid in Iran, our Christmas tree was like huge all the way to the ceiling and it was fresh Christmas tree. My grandpa and my dad would drag the, tr the tree up two stairs uh, because we lived in the second on the second floor and they would bring it. And I remember even the smell of a fresh Christmas tree to this day. I, I love having a fresh Christmas tree. It's the entire ritual. I'm so much about rituals, buying the Christmas tree, going and dragging it, putting it on the car, bringing it inside. Just this entire thing about a Christmas tree is a ritual for me. And I think so many of us do things because of rituals. And my dad and my grandpa used to trim the tree first with the lights and then they would check the lights and my grandma and my mom and I would just surround them and there was always music in the background, uh, food and drinks and they would toast before the tree, the, the lights went on. And then once they put the lights on, we would all take turns. Each one would take a turn in putting one ornament on the tree. And no matter where we put it, it was a blessed tree. That, to me, is Christmas. To me, it's family. To me, it is being with loved ones. And sometimes, not all loved ones are family. How about friends, colleagues, people you care about and you want to surround yourself with? That is creating your own family. So to me, it's that feeling of familia, being with the ones that you want to be. So I wish you and everyone a Merry Christmas, 
Happy Hanukkah for those of you who are going to be lighting the Torah. And I know the significance of each candle. So may your holidays be blessed and also Kwanzaa. So for those of you who are celebrating Kwanzaa, it's incredible how everything falls into place and they're all at the same time. Um, that's why I believe there is only one universe and one God and th the rest we're all, you know, we all choose our own rituals, religion, uh, just, but there's only one of us. We all bleed the same and yet we're all different. And I don't like to call it different. How about we are all unique? And it's our uniqueness, no matter our race, our color, our religion, our sex, our rituals, no matter what we do, it's like, it's one tribe called humanity. So no matter where you are, I like to grab my cup of coffee. I also have my own rituals on Christmas Eve. I like to set intentions, not goals. Because goals are from the thought. It's setting goals. Goals are great for projects. Um, I like to call it intentions because when we set intention, it's like coming from the core, coming from the heart. It's so much deeper than thoughts. And uh, yeah. So I like to set intention and I like to set an intention for the whole year, the coming year, ah, 2020, powerful. It's like 2020 vision, right? Hi, Lamon. So good to have you here. Uh, how are you spending Christmas? And do you celebrate Christmas? So many, being Armenian, um, I'm, I was christened as Catholic. My grandma was Gregorian, like protest, um, Protestant. And so she celebrates, uh, she celebrates? Grandpa has been gone for over 10 years. And uh, yeah, so she celebrated January 6th. And we celebrated Christmas. So in our household, we celebrated Christmas because uh, my mom and I are Catholic. Grandma was January 6th, and my father was Persian, so we you, we celebrated Novruz. That's the beauty. I, I love it. Of course. Merry Christmas. Um, see, that's what I'm saying. It's, um, it, it's the beauty of this generation. We all have come to accept and embrace one another's. Uh, differences, uniqueness, gifts, we all have a gift. Um, coming, talking about rituals, I want to share with you the ritual that I do. I come up with a word for the year and I set that intention and I want to talk about that, but I want to do it next week. Um, it comes to fruition. So on Christmas Eve, right about midnight, what I do is I go sit in front of a mirror so that I can see my own reflection in the mirror. I also play a beautiful soft music in the background and I light a candle so that no matter what intention or visual uh, experience I have, it is set in light. I am surrounded with light. Once I do that, I sit and I go into this hypnotic state. You know, I'm a hypnotherapist. So of course I do this visualization and everything as I go into trance state. Uh, you don't have to go into trance state, but set an intention. If you wish, you can do this ritual. So there's the mirror, candle, beautiful, if you have plants or flowers, set that. If you want 
uh, to have a drink before you do that, whatever it is, create this beautiful ritual for your own. And then I sit and I ask to be downloaded from the universe a word that will move me forward, that will be the word for my next decade, uh, next year, of course, next year, we're entering a whole new decade, right? <laughs> a decade. Uh, and I've been living more than half a century. Yes, that's incredible. So once you sit in front of the mirror, be still. You can close your eyes or not. Soft music in the background. A light, a candle lit. Breathe in and out, easily and gently. And ask your mind, your subconscious mind, your body to relax. And visualize what is it that you want to set an intention. The intention for the new year that brings you more joy, that brings you more love, that brings you more prosperity and ask a word to be downloaded. And believe it or not, you will see a word or think of a word that resonates the most with you. And once you do that, that becomes the word for the year. Of course, you can always change it, but that word becomes the most powerful word that sets you in motion for the new year. My word for 2019 was tenacity. And believe it or not, I was tenacious. And I like the word tenacious for this year. And I can't wait for tonight's ritual when I will set a new intention because there is so much I want to bring for the new year. I've already set intention. As you see, I have a new logo for my new year already. It's hard to write to that 202 instead of 201. Really? But I've started practicing. Oh, you mean 2019 instead of 2020? Yes, 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 of course. Uh, so I have a new logo. Uh, with my logo, all my books are in place. You see, I've got my Heal Thy Mind Body. Ah, this one, Heal Thy Mind Body. Mm. Which, and then we have our Stomp on Smoking. We have our stand up to slim down. Oh, it's 170. No, not 170. It is 145 pages book. Yeah, I'm so excited. My stump on smoking and my heal thy mind body. No, I'm not doing advertising. I'm just saying, oh, these could be incredible um, gifts if you want to gift. It's not too late. And you know what? It's amazing. All my bracelets, I have a slew of beautiful bracelets and with my logo. Look, my beautiful logo is also. Oh, isn't this amazing? Look. There you go. You see it? And in the back, it says heal within. Those are great stocking stuffers. And I also got some for my friends and yes, and they all come with a beautiful card, which is affirmations. And it says, begin your transformation. Repeat each affirmation three times as you move your finger over each bead on your heel within bracelet. So this is the heel within bracelet. Let me take this one and show it to you yeah i match everything so this one so what we do is the affirmations and the affirmations this is how i like to do it every day i read the affirmation 
Every day in every way, I accept and appreciate myself for who I am, fully and completely. I have a sound mind. I have a loving heart and a strong body. I evoke and release the past. Embrace the here and now and evolve to the perfect image of me. I matter. Isn't that a beautiful ritual? So, wow, another ritual. So, truly, I started my journey of doing hypnotherapy and becoming a hypnotherapist over two decades ago. And from the first day that I started, the name of my company was Inner Sight because it was Inner Sight, I-N-N-E-R, capital S-I-T-E. So it was the site that we entered in. And then, um, I changed it about 10 years ago. The entire corporation changed, the entire thing changed, and the name of my company became Heal Within. And I had a different logo. It was like this character sitting in a position with the three lines and feathers going. And for then, at that time, that's what I had the intention of. And this year, actually, in the last three months, I have been evolving and I rebranded myself. And you see this new logo? It's just like everything is evolving within me. And as I am evolving, and I like to call it, I've been coming through this chrysalis. And I've been crawling and crawling and crawling this entire decade, last decade has been literally going through and coming through this chrysalis. And as I enter my new decade with my new branding and everything, I am truly becoming this logo of becoming the lotus, taking wing, so that I can fly and help so many others in many ways heal within. So believe it or not, I think I have done my own healing and helped so many that now I can start healing in bigger picture with bigger masses and make a bigger impact in life. Thus, tonight, with all that I just said, I think the intention is already being set. And you can do the same thing all day long today. Just allow yourself. It's like marinating, massaging this thought, this idea of experiencing a new beginning for yourself. You can create your ritual, set your intention, and allow it to happen. With that, hi Jim, how are you? Uh, with that, uh, hi Adrian, hello Sylvia, hi Arina John, Merry Christmas to you as well. Bringing warmth for this holiday. I thought you were working, but I am so happy to have you here. Um, wishing you all a Merry, Merry Christmas. And just like what my holiday cards said, may you evoke your inner gifts, embrace the light within, and evolve to a year filled with love, 
joy and prosperity. Why? Because you matter. You matter for who you are, not the gifts, not the things you have, because you are a gift. You are a gift of God. You are a child of God. And I want you to be proud of who you are, no matter where you are. Actually hone your gifts. So this holiday season, season, that season, um, allow to let go. If you have any differences, if you have any angst, anger, resentment of who came or who he didn't, who cut in front of me, who's in line, I'm supposed to be there. This is not the perfect gift I wanted. You know, just a week ago, we did Cops for Kids and I joined our cops in our community to bring gifts to the needy. And we visited so many, so many homes. We don't have to go and visit homes that are in poverty, that are poor, uh, that don't have the luxury in order for us to experience what the message of Christmas is or giving. Yes, we can give a lot of things, but it's the experiences of the people and appreciating the people that surround you or not are not with you that matters the most. Texting, calling, just a simple call to say, I'm thinking about you. Or when you hug someone today, allow that hug to linger just a few more seconds so that you can feel them upon your chest. Because you never know what tomorrow brings. We never know what an hour, a minute from now is. You know, there's that beautiful saying that they say if you want to know what a difference between a year makes or a month makes or an hour or a day right so nine months for um, a pregnant woman it can be in just in that one push until she hears the sound of the baby or when you want to know what's the difference between a minute for someone is that person who misses the bus, the train, or the plane. Uh, a, a second is for the person who breathes or not. A millisecond is the person who wins the medal of gold or silver. But today, being here, I want to thank you for being with me on this beautiful Hill Talk Tuesday, that you took the time. And I wish you, your loved ones, a Merry Christmas. And if I could hug you, I would do this virtual hug and say, may God's blessings be with you and the universal light surround you to protect you and shield you at all times. So, my intention for you is the best that the one offers you. So here's a toast to all my loved ones who will not be with my mom and I tonight. And that goes from my grandparents, my father, my cousin, uncles, and, and also your loved ones who are with you in spirit. 
and the ones, the new friends that you will be making soon. This is Lisa Bubari, your favorite hypnotherapist and the person who helps you heal within. Thank you. God bless you. And goodbye until I see you next week so we can close the year with jingles, with bells, and you never know where I will be. Bye-bye. Alexa, Michael Bublé. I love Michael Bublé. Every single morning, that's what I do. I ask Alexa to start me with Michael. Bye-bye. Lemon and coffee. Oh, I'm still on.